Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to some more Let's Play Master of Magic! We are still enjoying our run on the Mirren Plane. We are promising ourselves that we won't be as lazy and we will control our units a little bit more so we don't lose a bunch of them for stupid reasons, we'll see. We got a, wow, big horde of undead. Um, I don't know if they go for, oh no, you're a proper town. Oh, that might be a little bit tricksy. See, this enchanted item is taking up too much of our casting time here um, that we could be using to bring up some defensive units. Because I'm worried they're going to go to this town and just ruin it. Which, I mean, we could rebuild it pretty quickly, but it would be kind of annoying. So I think I'm going to venture out here. I don't think we'll be able to reach this turn. Yeah, some units have movement of three. Um, the magicians, maybe the saints as well. No, I think that's a saint there. No, so just the magicians. We'll do that. They don't move very quick, so I'm not worried about them like ambushing the town that I've left undefended or anything like that. More neutral towns for us to hit, maybe. Okay, banked up tons of extra mana. I'm going to go and pull back on... Go back to something like this for now. Casting skills up to 67. Okay, it wasn't going for the small town. That's good. I was like, I'm fine if it like we can bait it into attacking my stuff that's outside, but we'll see. This is our Dark Graph Town, where we're going to build the War College and then start making veteran warlocks. And you're going to chill here until the boat arrives. And we are... You know what? If I can... I'm going to buy this, because I think they only move at a rate of one. I'm going to pop back over here. I'll just hit done. Because if we can get another unit in the defense, it'll be nice. Oh, they might be coming over here. Uh, we need a little food. Let me pop you over. Oh, what did we just research? Flame Blade. Okay. And what have we revealed? Fireball! I want Fireball for myself. A hundred percent. That's going to be really good. Okay, Granary for some extra food production. Lovely. We're going to marketplace into Farmer's Market. I've got some money, although I kind of want to keep my options open. They've turned around. They might be coming back over here now. So let me do that once more. And maybe, maybe they were going for the what appeared to be undefended town. So I might actually be getting to mess with the AI a bit, which is always fun to do. With that in mind, though, let's come here. I'm going to make sure we get a magician next turn. There we go. Ooh, minus one food. Let me grab. Well, I suppose I could assign more food making to my capital here. It's going to slow down this, but we do get extra food bang for our buck in theory. There's like weird rounding and stuff, I think, that happens. Um, higher fame also, I believe, affects the maintenance for your units which will be really nice if we keep building those Colosseums. So obviously at some point we want to make sure we breach the barrier between the planes so that we can start getting in some real fights, although I'm certainly appreciating the kind of freebie expansion that's going on right now. We'll get the Miner's Guild for production. And you're going to get a Sawmill. I'm going to purchase that immediately for sure. I'm enchanted. So, we've got this redundant item, unfortunately, now with Rakir, which is too bad. But, his spells will be that much more effective, which is nice. I would love to start another defensive item for him, but, yeah, we may need to be able to insta-summon some shite here. I might wait until I get some more spell skill so it doesn't um, tie me up as long. Okay, I've got some mana sitting around. I'm going to just go and boop this group right now, which should be pretty okay. Be okay if we had fireball. Oh, yeah, we don't want to fireball the skeletons, but... Yeah, we can hit the zombie. Interesting, the, the zombies have different colors. Halt the swordmen. Saints don't have a... Oh, they do have a range attack. Although, again, the skeletons themselves have a big defense to range. The magicians have a range attack, and they have fireball. Which we're going to use to nuke this set of skeletons. Um, our units fly as well, which is kind of giving these guys a very hard time. We want to hit the biggest stacks possible of fireball, because, again, it does damage per unit. Yeah, I can probably unleash these now. Thank you. 
Finish off the zombies. Oh yeah. Okay. All good. All range attacks, all clean. Just in here, I'm gonna send you that way. And I'll probably break up the squad, send some dudes over to this city. Granary, let's flip you to a worker. Get you a marketplace into farmer's market. Sawmill done here. Granary, I'll buy it. Patrol there. Actually, I'll send one over here. Although it's pretty far out of the way, it's much less likely to get attacked. And then we'll just park you in here. And then you're going to sit there. Excellent. So, I guess I can just keep you on a boat for now. That's fine. Negative mana, although we do have some money. Do I want to move my summoning circle and th start throwing some fire giants in here? Fire giants, warlocks, and one hero. I think the answer might be yes. Get some extras. There we go. Two turns. And they're not cheap. I think we're going to do okay. Barracks into Colosseum for fame, please. And you're going to go marketplace, and you can become a worker. Thank you. Ooh, it's like a Spartan fire giant. Excellent. Um, let's have another. I think we're going to send some magicians over that way. Yeah, just having the one town just constantly spam out those units seems to be doing us fine. We can otherwise focus on our infrastructure. Fire Giant. Now, I'd have to convert some more funds. Maybe I will. Maybe we'll have three Fire Giants. Or I could, what I could do is I could wait until we've actually started getting our Warlocks. Because right now we're paying maintenance on something that we don't immediately need. I'm still happy to have a couple. But yeah, maybe we'll wait. We're running the mana deficit, but I'm still fine with that currently. 74 casting skill. You know, maybe I'll just put a little bit of power into mana generation. Just to make sure, again, if I run out and then all of a sudden a bunch of stuff disbands itself, I will feel real stupid. So let's not do that. Mm, yeah, you can basically just do infrastructure. Actually, get, tell you what, we'll get a builder's hall first. That unlock a bunch of things. Farmer market done here. We can move another person over to work. Uh, we may as well get the, far, the, uh, the Forester's Guild. To accelerate production in general. That's a lot of gold in them there hills. Wow. Okay. Okay, Wizards Guild and a little bit of unrest. Yeah, here I think it wasn't really about building wizards. It was mostly, it's a decent building to build for the power and research. Builders Hall over here. We're going to go for a bank. Get us some decent money. It's funny the bank has upkeep when his job is to make us money, but... Farmer's Market. You know what? I'm going to buy this one. Get the growth going. I'd like to buy more in a few other places, but we'll, you know, have to pace ourselves. All right, we're here. You can get down over here. Uh, yeah, we're working on the War College. I might accelerate that next turn. It's weird, because if I spend money normally, I want to do it on small towns that... You know, we'll benefit from the boost, but I would like to start hitting those warlocks and expanding as quickly as possible. At least we're getting some decent exploration of the boats. It is a little maybe embarrassing that I haven't done more exploration with my flying units, but... You know, they've been busy keeping towns safe. At least the boats move quite fast. Uh, sprites and war bears, or boars, I can't imagine having a real problem with this, especially if we can fireball them. Which, oh, hold on. We don't actually have that yet. Five turns. I wonder, can I... Two... No, I can't get it in one turn, but I can get it in two. 
Let me just set this for now. It might be relevant. Wizard's Guild. And we do have some excess food, although I don't really want to do it here. You have Rebellion? You don't, although... I think you're on the cusp of it, so we may as well still build into the Cathedral. Unrest and Power. You don't get a lot of it. I mean, I think, yeah, the Oracle also actually reduces Unrest by three. It's just Vision, no Power. Yeah, let's get a Cathedral here. Wizard's Guild. Decent defensive units. Oh, Colosseum, please. Shrine. Let's go Barracks into Colosseum. Farmer's Market, please. I'm not going to buy something here because I think I'm going to go with plan Rush the War College. Thank you. We might need some reinforcements over here, so I'll send some magicians in that general area. Can I go down here? No, it's just a river. See, I could drop a summon, but I don't really know where they're going to go. In theory, I've got combat summons and things. I think we're going to be okay. Oh, there's Fireball as well. Now I'm going to feel really good against those groups. Okay, what do we reveal? Immolation? Oh, yeah. Surrounds the target unit, Fiery Ore, inflicts strength, 10 magical fire attack on all enemies engaging. Um, that would have been maybe nice to throw on Gunther if he was still alive. Um, this is, so it, it, this is the upgraded firebolt, just a single one shot armor piercing magical attack, really good for booping single strong. It works fine against stacks, although the fireball is going to be much more efficient against stacks, I think, but this gives us something to kill strong single targets, which if we're going to go and attempt to pop some of our little, uh, treasure troves here. Yeah, we're going to do that. I might keep the, um, cavalry as well. Um, I might keep the focus heavily on research right now, although it looks like those warlocks aren't going to be too quick to do. Ooh, that's a vulnerable town. I hadn't realized that. Yeah, hold on. Summoning circle. I'm going to instigate some hellhounds over there. Instigate some more hellhounds. Lovely. So look at that. High spell power. Works out nicely. Because we've got enough now to double summon Hellhounds. Now, if we get attacked this turn, we might not have much in the way of casting power left over. But I'm still happy to have gotten a couple of Hellhounds in there. Yeah, I only have one one casting skill left, which means I don't think I'll be able to cast skills and spells in combat. And convert... It's not about lack of mana. It's about the, the casting skill. But it might change their mind about attacking this town. We'll see. It They did bypass. Maybe they weren't going to attack. But I suspect they would have, and they just decided. They're, they're looking for the weakest target that they can hit. Uh, where are we here? Farmist. Oh, yeah, in the new place. All right, and it was like, Farmist should really be the place that makes us food. We should really get the Animist's Guild over here. In fact, I think I'll get that now. And yeah, next time we're short of food, we'll try to do it in Farmist. Right now, we've actually got an excess of food. Not by much, though. I might not even bother removing some farmers at this point. There's starting to be a lot of micromanagement. Okay, probably things are moving over here. So what I should do... Let's just do one of those. And this place is going to have a warlock soon, and it's a little further away. We can still respond to things. Mining guild here. Good for production. You do need some extra troops. It's a Forester's Guild first. Doom Castle. Oh, Colosseum, please. This is a place we're just about to reinforce. Still working on some basics. There you go. I think it's pulled back. It might it might just be wandering a little bit. It might what it might be doing, it might be moving up to the city to confirm the vision of the units. Like it might not be cheating the same way. I don't know. May as well just patrol here for now.
I guess we can go into the fog of war here, see if there's something interesting. Okay, we send you here. I have to keep checking to see which cities need a bit of extra defense. We've got even more excess food now. So I'm not currently casting anything. Although maybe I will start a fire giant. Which we'll summon there for now. Colosseum. There we go. Getting that fame counter up. Um, what else do we have? I mean, we can slap down some animus guilds in a bunch of places. They do cost maintenance, but they will, you know, these farmers will all produce more food, which is going to be nice. Um, no, well, let's builders go hell first. That's going to be fine. Colosseum. We'll have to check our fame after this. Yeah, because we're going to, we definitely want banks everywhere. That's for sure. Oh, wow. You definitely need some love. Let's purchase that. I do like that animation. And yeah, I mean, you're definitely not attacking there. And I think this town's got some defenses. Yeah, no, so I'm feeling pretty okay about this. How are you doing here, Warlocks? Oh, you have some rebellion. Oh, I did move some units out. I mean, I might be able to buy a cathedral or something, but no. I'll leave Rakir there. I'll send these guys that way. Okay. We've got mana. We can respond to things. Builder's Hall. Go for the bank, please. Oh, the Merchant's Guild we can build in places where you've got the, uh, the boats, right? They actually make good money. I should probably look into that. Uh, you need one more unit, although you can't really build anything particularly strong. Okay, just build the bank first. Sawmill done. Granary, and I will purchase it for sure. There you go. Chill here, get the warlock. We'll crew a few more, and then we're going to go bashing places. Um, it would be nice to pop some magic nodes as well. Too bad there's not an auto explorer at this point for the ships. Engage maximum lazy mode. Magic market. Uh, library because it's a basic, or do we go builders hall for some? Or you know what? Let's go miners guild. Do you even have a mineral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Hello, granary. So I can flip you and get you to work on your marketplace. Unless I should just get, like, every town just spamming out Doom Drakes at this point. But I think they're really good, and they do fly, so they'd be easy to roam around. Problem is, we don't have a flying hero. Maybe one of the caves will give us access to, like, Boots of Flying, or one, like, Sorcerer Spellbook or something, which might do it. Where are we here? Sorin. Oh, right. Merchant Guild. See, 40% taxes. It's a lot of money. And I do want to check my fame. I keep forgetting to do it. All right, let's work on um, let's work on some stables. I mean, the stables do give production. They're super cheap to build. I should probably just have at least the stables everywhere. I don't think they're going to enable the Doom Drakes alone. And two production's not that much, but it does open up some interesting options. I'm definitely progressing on some things. Wow, 200 gold per turn. Oh, okay, I do want to pull back over here on the mana generation. I do like the idea of not running a deficit just because it'll prevent me from running into a bad situation. We're going to convert a little bit more stuff over here. Um, I don't really want to make more fire giants, although I suppose it, the warlocks are taking a while to build, so maybe I should go ahead and do that. 
our hit squad maybe will be a little heavier on fire giants than I thought, which is hardly a bad thing. Now we still have that flying squad. I think we're okay, but no, I'm not sure. Uh, what are we looking at here? We could just do some trading. I could also just like let the population increase. Although I guess we built the stable. Let's go Fighters Guild. We'll see what we can do about maybe spamming Doom Drakes. I don't know. Wow, this town is still quite small. Well, I'll go barracks into this. Fire Giant Summon, thank you. Oh, I forgot the um the circle is still over there. What do we have here? Many gargoyles. Doom bat, which is scary. Few skeletons. I don't know if this is and nagas. This should this should be pretty doable. We're gonna we're gonna move towards taking this. Come here. And these are both warlocks, eh? Now, only one of them's got XP. I don't know. I think I'll send them all out anyway. Okay. We want. We have one baby warlock and one veteran warlock. All right. They finally decided on a town to attack. Does seem like a pretty good one. Um. I was gonna say that's. Ooh. I'm surprised didn't eliminate it. They have very low uh, defense. So swordman. Yeah. You guys are all just gonna stay chill. I guess Swordmen, the sprites are probably not much of a risk because of their shield. I'm trying to decide if it's worth fireballing these things. Or hitting them with something else, including just summoning some stuff. I don't know. I'm going to try to fireball one of these groups. Yeah, that is not as effective as I'd hoped. I'm going to back up a bunch. I realize this might result in a bunch of our buildings being damaged. Oh, you are still doing damage here. But I'm mostly worried about the troops in the front. Still, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fireball this other sprite group, which is what I should have just done. But the first time I was like, ah, maybe they can't do very much. But they're doing a little bit more than I thought. Okay, now these things are, these guys shouldn't be doing much anymore. They just don't have enough attack. Um, I could have wall of fired, I suppose, but I'm gonna drop some fire lentils in here. And let these guys do their combat. Oh, that's scary. That's actually... This, we might be losing a town here. I guess I don't have any more spells to cast. And the combat's, yeah, pretty brainless. Um, okay, here's what's going to happen. I think these guys are out of ammo. They will try to engage the swordmen. I should have focused on just killing these. Because then we wouldn't lose the combat. We're going to lose all the... the hmm... I want to make sure to engage so I get my fire breath. Ah! Because here's the thing. Oh, maybe I could have just kept running away from them. Because at 25 turns, the combat ends. Um, if I just kept running away from them, it would end. We would have lost all our buildings from them running around the city, but we could have kept the city itself. Or if I just sniped the, um, the sprites, I could have just stood still the whole time. Oh, well. Let's get immolation. Right, big food, capital. I guess let's get the stables. You're gonna need some extra defense here. But you're still just building up your basics. Um, I'm just gonna say maybe I do build the smithy because it does give us the plus two production. Again, which isn't much, but it's something. Uh, let's, how many people, units are moving over here? Seven, eight? I don't know, I'm gonna send one more warlock. Because I think I only had a total of eight. So I do want one more. Wow, we have a lot of food. That's a lot of guardian spirits. Okay, you're gonna get another magician, which is good. I wonder if it'll finish in time. Get a hellhound in there. Mm. 
You've grown. We got the stable here. So we're gonna go Fighters Guild. We'll probably want the Alchemist Guild for this one as well. It's not as important for the Warlock, because I don't think them having a magic weapon matters. Ah! Does it give them plus one to hit on their ranged attacks? Maybe it does, actually. Oops. And actually, that reminds me, we have tons of excess food. I'd rather pull the farmers out of towns than aren't my animists. You need to take a break, actually, and work on some things that are going to lower your unrest. So we're going to have to go and unboop a town, which has been destroyed. I think that's down here. And resettle it. Oh, wasn't expecting that to look like that. Oh, they're going they're coming down here. Those guys have a good rate. Did we just lose vision over those things? You'll patrol there. Something circles sitting here, right? Okay, they can't get here in one turn. Oh, there, now I have vision over them again. Weird. I'm going to do the fire giants, because they can't reach me. Yeah. They can't reach me next turn, so we're going to have fire giants there. Like, they can't reach me there at the start of next turn, and then my fire giants will appear. Draconian bowmen, no. Bowmen are kind of crap. I don't really need these mercs. A lot of mercs I'm going to want, but not those. Granary, and I'll buy you as well. Well, fire giant, and yeah, you just park yourself over here. There you go, they're moving away. How's this town? Yeah, not much in there, but maybe what I'll do is I'll move one of these magicians down there. I don't know how bad things are in there. I may as well wait for a full stack before we go. Okay, now I'm assuming Chaos Channel doesn't work on my heroes. Oh, I never actually researched it. Never mind. Do I want to drop Flame Blade on some things? I probably should. You know what? Now, I think this this only works on normal units. Okay, where the hell am I? So I don't think I can put it over here. Oh, I can. Well, that's okay. I mean, it's not that important for him to do that, but it does increase his missile damage by two. It makes it count as magic. Oh, and it... Yeah, all right. So maybe heroes do count as normal units, in which case I can a dark channel or chaos channels them, which is really quite compelling. There we go, Shipwrights Guild, so we can build the Merchants Guild and have even more money. Oh, you have unrest. You need some extra people. Let me get you an extra swordman. And same thing here. We'll get you an extra swordman. I'll buy it since it's going to take two turns. Flame blade spell. Oops. Now, I'm sure it doesn't work on the fire giants. Yep. But we can throw it on the warlocks. Does it change the strength of their magic ranged attack? No, they still hit for nine, so I don't think that's useful there at all. But it was worth the check. All right, so you're coming down here, so actually... Oh yeah, and you were going to what is now a ruin. Yeah, so buffing you is not going to matter either. And yeah, this spell here... Can I cancel this? Yeah, it's just draining some mana right now, and there's no reason for it. Unless they get into melee combat, which at this at that point, they're already going to be in a tremendous amount of trouble, so I don't think I'm too concerned. Lots of money. Oh, let's convert, like, basically all of it into mana. I keep forgetting to check my fame. I think about it every time I see the Colosseums, and by the time I'm done dealing with the cities, I've forgotten to check. I mean, it doesn't actually matter, but I'm curious. 
Shrine, you need more Unrest Busters. Actually, build your Colosseum. Speaking of, and now we can hit F9, 25 frame. So I think 10 and 20, maybe and 30 might all be breakpoints for fame levels for the type of heroes that can join you. And yeah, 40 frame, you have the best heroes. Although it's not guaranteed that those show up. It's just those now become available, become eligible. Yeah, that's still a very scary stack here. Um, thing is, I want to have some mana for the combat, but let's get some hellhounds up in there. And I canceled. Yeah, good. We might summon some hellhounds here too. We'll see. And you are going to change over to... Hey, what? Give me the Colosseum. We got trolls on parade over there. Trolls on patrol. Hey! Trolls on patrol. Mm, where was I? Somewhere over here. How big of an army are we talking about? Three trolls. This is going to have war. It's very poorly defended now, but that won't be the case for very long. And I come with some, some stuff over here, too. Okay. So this is a brand new turn. We're going to have to check to see if I need to do summons first. And assuming I don't have to. Then we are going to jump into the combat. Somewhere else we want to do an Animus Guild? I mean, we're okay right now. There we go. Armor's Guild. Stables plus Armor's Guild equals Doom Drakes, as far as I know. Although we're going to want the War College as well for the XP on them. Uh, Merchant's Guild, yes. May as well take the free tax dollars. And... I guess I'll call CM here. Farmer's Market, thank you. Go for the Foresters Guild. Okay. Let's do a little save scum. And go in here. Now, Nagas... Yeah, okay, I was going to say, Nagas themselves aren't too bad. Mostly depends on how much stuff is in here. And it looks like the answer is not too much. Nagas are like the tier one unit that Sorcerers can summon. They do have first strike, so they attack first in combat. Um, because in melee combat, you know, attackers hit each other simultaneously. Well, Nagas do a first strike first, which is really nice. It does come after, as it says, the Breath Throne and Gaze, which go first. It's Breath Throne, Gaze, then it's first strike, then it's normal melee. But they also have a poison here, which can do some extra damage to things that are low resistance. Uh, anything with poison tends to tear apart low resistance creatures, which in the early game is quite a lot. However, wow, that was surprisingly disappointing from the fire giants. I mean, it's still pretty good. Rakir could have even fireballed these guys. Actually, apparently he should have. We'll tell you what, the magicians will use their own mana to fireball here. Which, again, I should have done first, because it's per figure. Wow! That was... You know what? Just shoot them, then. There you go. Find some gold. Yeah, that was a that's a very squishy lair. We were never going to get big rewards from it. Um, although we did get some bonus XP. So it's 1 XP per turn, and 2 XP every time you kill a unit, or a unit is killed in combat you participate in. So that was 4 extra XP there, bonus XP from that battle, which isn't much, but it's something. I'm going to grab the Chaos Channels and consider using it on our heroes. We do need an extra farmer, and you know what? You're doing a little extra farming, so let's make sure... Apparently you already have an Animus Guild. No. Think Sage's Guild leads to it? No. You already have an Animus? Oh, you do. So there you go. Use the extra food. No unrest currently. You have the stable. Let's go Armorer's Guild. And yeah, I don't think those trolls are going to be an issue. Uh, the Trireme has no upkeep. There's really no reason to get rid of it. This was a few skeletons, which should be fine. I will save scum in case it turns out there's a nasty surprise there, but it's hard to imagine. Even if there's invisible stuff, I think we're going to be okay. Although we don't, I mean, we don't have True Sight here, which isn't great. Wait, Fire Giants have a spell? They have a built-in fireball. Oh, well, shit. Okay, I'm... Warp creature, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing with the warlocks. I forgot to use their doom bolt. I need to kill, cast spell cast on them. There are invisi creatures here. Okay, cancel. They're going to get the rest of their move here. Oh, shit. Um, okay, Rakir, don't die. Can I 
hit these guys with a spell despite not having vision. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I can't ranged attack them, though. Holy crap. Can't range attack them. Oh, you do have a Doom Bolt available, so use that, although there's another perfectly healthy one hiding. <clears throat> this is where we safe come, you guys. God, that thing's insane. This is, uh, this is gonna be trivial. This is just the dudes who killed our town. Although they did do enough damage on our magicians to kind of piss me off somewhat. But let's make sure. I mean, I think if I automate them, they would have done this regardless. Okay, now, now they're, they're fine. Yeah, you get basically no gold. Hoping to get some extra XP on, um, on our hero here. You know, it might not be a bad idea to just keep a unit near here for some vision. Or maybe near over here, so we can see these guys coming. Although right now, we're okay. Got a good amount of cash. I think I will buy the extra warlock here, just to make sure. Hmm. Oh, these guys are finally attacking us. I wish I had Lightning Bolt. I do have Lightning Bolt, never mind. Not sure we can take these. Oh, that's not enough. Magician. So Fireball's not gonna be helpful, but I guess we'll Fire Bolt instead. <laughs> it's their Fireball, my Fireball, which is identical. There we go. Just because it's a single figure, so we want the 24 damage of the Firebolt as opposed to the 12 from the Fireball. And I will use my Lightning Bolt on a fresh one here. Oh, good roll on that one. And, okay, yeah, Swordman, you can't do anything. Magician... You can firebolt again. Unless I want to hit a fresh one here. I'm going to do that because we can use the ranged attacks on the one who's a little bit weaker. Although, lowering these guys' hit points doesn't decrease their effectiveness because there's no figures to kill. I'm going to lightning bolt a fresh one because we apparently could potentially insta kill them. I'm going to have the swordman wait. The Magician have no more spell casting, but they have their range attack. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Uh, this guy can't reach us this turn. So I'll just hit done there. Make sure to step back with the Magician so we do a range attack. Ooh, that was a good roll in the second one. Okay. You do need some extra bodies over here, but hopefully we'll be okay. Those trolls are still moving forward, but Fingers crossed it doesn't work out badly. You know, barracks and Coliseum, maybe. Miner's Guild here. We really don't need more barracks, actually. We're going to be fine on fame. I mean, more fame still affects the rate at which you get people. And potentially maintenance stuff. So yeah, you're still wondering, but you're not a scary stack. I don't... This is a little bit vulnerable this town. If he decides to go there, I'll be a little bit concerned. Not much, since we have spell support, but let's get them a couple of bodies there. Just bring that up to six, and then I'm going to feel great. Patrol over here. A few giant spiders. Um, That's interesting. I really got to put a cut in here, but I'm going to do one more fight. I'm going to take the giant spiders. So... Okay, that is a lot of things. They're pretty low tier, and we've got some high tier stuff. So spiders have this web, which is a great counter to flying units. So what it's going to do, it's going to prevent people from doing anything, but every turn... Can I get info? No, I guess I can't. Every turn, your unit melee attacks the web to try to break out. So things with strong melee attacks break out of webs pretty quickly. Things with weak melee attacks do not. Um, and I believe that even once they break out, units that have been webbed can no longer fly this combat. So it's a really good counter to flying units. Not that it's a problem for us in this particular situation. Um, we are going to be fireballing these stacks and not doing quite as much as I thought, but it's still, I think, definitely worth doing. I was going to say, it might have just been a poor roll there. So you can see that some of these guys can't act. 
The Warlocks are going to do Doom Bolt, and they're going to Doom Bolt maybe the Fresh War Bears here. Because triple unit stacks might be less um, interesting to Fireball. Because there's fewer figures to hit. But the Doom Bolt, yeah, just flat out 12 damage. No rolls, which apparently is just enough to kill a single War Bear in each one. Um, myself... So that's massive overkill, but I kind of like overkill. Maybe I'll hit that in case it could kill the whole stack. Spider's going to start attacking. And yeah, my warlocks are... Or the, I think those were wizards. Um, but there's some vulnerability. This fire giant's almost dead. I'd prefer not losing it. There we go. Oh shit! Oh no! Okay. How close? Oh, actually, we're here. You're not as bad off as I thought you were. Yeah, you can melee. You're at full health. There we go. We gained a fame from killing lots of things. And a helm! Two attack, two resist. Oh, spell skill and spell save. Well, let's throw it on Rakir, the witch doctor's helm. Oh. Right. Helmets are not a defensive unit. They're a miscellaneous slot. So, annoyingly, we have way too many miscellaneous slots, items, which I was saying is, like, the best one to make. And then the game says, oh, yeah? Well, let's make you feel stupid for having made that. Okay, slightly negative mana. That's fine. Yeah, we got lots of little snaky trails. This group over here, we did lose, right, the Magician. These areas are still a little bit scary to clear. Do mats are very scary. Many Gorgons. I mean, we have to hit some of these nodes. What we might do is hit some of these with, um, with disposable units to weaken them. I think that's the sort of thing that's going to have to start happening. Which I think mostly means spamming fire giants. Okay, in theory I'm not scared of this group. And they got their regeneration and stuff, but... Oh, and the shamans have the healing. Although I think they can only heal once per combat. Focus on. Yeah, I don't think we lose this. Ugh, I should have just lightning bolted these. And fireball the full stack here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I mean, flying, first strike. Yeah, let's not spend any more mana here. I don't think these guys can do enough damage to kill any of the standing units. Okay. Fighter's Guild. So you're going to go Armorer's Guild. Get the stables going. Yeah, mass spam of units going to be good. Um, What was this again? Gorgons. That was unknown. Argoyles, Doom Bats. And that's many Gorgons. This is just Doom Bat singular. Well, we'll see. But I think that's going to be the first thing we do. I don't think I'm going to run in with the hero, because if there are multiple things, we might have to do partial damage to something. It'll suck to not get the extra XP on our hero, but we'll see. I will use the Chaos Channels. Mystic Search grants massive random benefit to a unit in combat for a price. Oh, can't be healed, loses resistance, 1 HP forever. Yeah, it's kind of a one-shot burn the unit. I'm worried about researching that one with my autocast. Firestorm, right. All enemy units in a map square hit by a strength 12 fireball. Let's do that. We can nuke some stuff from the map, which is going to be great. And I really have to put a cut in this episode, so I'm going to try to do that now. Folks, thanks a lot for... Stop interrupting me. Hang on. Oh, uh, you know what? You can work on housing. That's going to be fine. Um, what I might do is make a list... 
a look through some of these cities here. So yeah, we only have one on repeated housing stuff. Eh, screw it. Let's do that, because otherwise I'll forget it. All right, folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.